There are five key things that everybody should do to protect themselves against a disaster. And it doesn't matter whether it's a hurricane, a wildfire, five key things. The first thing is you want to get in touch with your insurance company, review your coverage. Make sure that you understand what disasters are covered and what disasters are not. Generally speaking, you're going to be covered for things like wind, but you're not going to be covered for a flood or an earthquake. For flooding and earthquake, you need to get separate insurance. You can get flood insurance from the National Flood Insurance Program and from a few private insurance companies. And earthquake, you can get earthquake coverage either from private insurance or in California from the California Earthquake Authority. The third thing you want to do is to make sure that you have enough insurance. You basically need to make sure that you have enough insurance to rebuild your home, replace, rebuy your personal possessions, and that you have enough coverage for additional living expenses. You want to make sure that you understand your deductible. There are different types of deductible. Everybody has something called a dollar deductible, or at least most people have a dollar deductible. That's $500 to $1,000. But you can also have a deductible that's expressed as a percentage for different types of catastrophes. So you want to understand what your deductible is and how that's going to affect what you're paying for insurance, but also when you have a claim, what does that deductible mean when you have to file a claim? Lastly, if you need any special coverage, find out now what it is. For instance, if you live in an area with older infrastructure, you might need something for backup of sewers and drains. There's also coverage for something called ordinance and law. This is in the event you live in an area where building codes have gotten stronger, you've had the house for a long time, if the house should be damaged, you want, you're going to need to be able to rebuild your home to the new, tougher building codes. Ordinance and law would make the, the difference there. There's also insurance for things like expensive items. So if you have heirlooms or jewelry that you want to make sure it's properly insured, also consider getting a floater. If you need any more information on insurance, call your insurance professional but also take a look at the Insurance Information Institute's website, iii.org. We have articles. We also have really fun videos, and we have a suite of apps to make disaster planning much simpler and easier. That's iii.org.